What is going on Adventure Nation? You might have a hard time hearing us because we woke up next to a river. This is the motorhome experiment. We are here in the Wrangell St. Elias National Park and today we're gonna hike a glacier. This is something I watch on TV even before going full timing and I look forward to do that like so much and just to know we're here, it's just so surreal. We've been watching the rafters up and down the river all morning, it's been pretty cool. Some guys on single rafts, some single kayaks that is and then some people on group rafts, pretty cool. And it is an absolutely amazing place. So yep, I can't wait to get started and we're going with the best friends. <laughs> so, you ready? Let's do this. Let's get our hike on. Let's get our glacier hike on. We have been dropped off up here at Kennecott and we're gonna find out where we can rent some crampons which are basically spikes for your shoes so that we can walk on the glacier. This should be really cool. Holy smokes. We are ready to get out onto the glacier, do some hiking. Jared there at the Kennecott Wilderness Guides was a wealth of information. And if you're coming out here, one thing that you might wanna do is have a guide that takes you out onto the glacier. Much better way to go. Unfortunately, super busy weekend, so they didn't have any guides one. available. But it's not even that expensive per group. It's like about $95 this year. Per person. Per person, yeah. So it's it's really for the experience that you're gonna have. It is an amazing, uh, amazing thing to do. Or at least we're gonna find that out here in just a <laughs> bit. All right, we all brought all these heavy jackets and stuff so that we could go out and hike on the glacier. No. Now Lorena and Laura are stripping down into their wife beater shirts. And tank tops. Oh, tank tops, sorry. And it's hopefully getting warm and hopefully we'll get to the glacier soon and it'll cool off. I'm wearing a snowboard shirt yeah. and snowboard socks. Like and I'm boiling. A little bit should, over. Should be from the waist up. It's a little bit over a Tuma hike, but it's uphill and there's rocks everywhere that you're avoiding. So it's a pretty cool hike even before you get into the glacier. Yeah, everybody's kind of failed to mention this earlier. <laughs> so pretty amazing. <laughs> and there is where we're going. Yeah. You can see little dots out walking around on the glacier. Those peoples. Okay, you can see the glacier there. All of this here is glacier as well. It looks like dirt, but it's just the glacier covered from all of the dirt and things that have been dragged off the mountain. You can see bits and pieces out there where there's white faces where the rocks have slid off. Really crazy. The 
trail is a little narrow, little narrow, steep, rocky, pebbly, and kind of slippery here, folks. We're at the point now where we need to put our crampons on. This will help us walk on the glacier. weird to walk on the ice because you can hear the ice uh, cracking as you're walking and walking in the crampons isn't actually a natural thing to do either no but we're walking on ice <laughs> do you need to tighten them up Lori I think we can confidently say this is the craziest place we've ever done a picnic. Most picturesque. Most ice. <laughs> the iciest picnic spot ever. Yeah, not not the softest spot to sit your ass, but kind of worth it. I've got Gene Simmons boots on. <laughs> Big old crampons. So we're heading down here to an area that's got some pools. And we'll see if maybe Kevin and I wind up going for a dip. They're still debating on going for a swim, but... And being hospitalized them. from frostbite. Well, no, they told you that some of the pools can suck you in too. Well, yeah, we were warned that some of the pools here might uh, suck you underneath and then you would be lost forever under the glacier, which probably isn't a good thing. But we did see a pool down here that doesn't look too bad. We keep forgetting about getting you life insurance. Well, would life insurance pay off if they can't find the body? Good question. Ah, uh huh. Yes, okay, so Kevin just walked into the water to uh, do a little test and... Uh, You're going to have to bleed this whole thing out the, uh, <laughs> if you ask me how it was. And uh, so are, are you and I going to take a dip? Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> you lie like a car. <laughs> you can see right now that his feet are cramping off. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you can tell my toes yeah. right there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the verdict is we are not going to do a dip. Because we are wussies. That was Look, cold. I even have my swim trunks yeah. here. He's got his swim trunks. I got mine in my pack, but it ain't going to happen. What's crazy is we did the, the dip in the Arctic Ocean. And that water was cold, but it is nothing like this. At, like it's not cold. nothing it's like this. This is or covered in <laughs> yeah. This is just basically ice that has barely turned to liquid. Yeah. It is insanely cold, and this is I don't know how thick this ice is, but just think about a little bit of water on top of ice on it's top of an ice cube. How cold that is? That. Not gonna happen. Probably Let us know if you've ever done a dip up here, because if so, you're much more manly than us, yeah. or insane. One of the two. That is just beautiful. Holy smokes.
I know we say it all the time, folks, but get out of your comfort zone. Get up into these areas. I know some of it's not accessible for some of you folks, so hopefully you get to see it through our eyes. But if you are able to get out into some of these areas, the national parks especially, get out and enjoy your national parks. Get out, do some hiking, get into some of these remote back areas. Just absolutely incredible. And here's an area where it just disappears into nowhere. All right, this is this is the last time Kevin and I were seen alive. Here, I'll step back because there is not much room. You can see nothing. You can see there the water, and then it just disappears down into nothing. Holy crap! That, that is, is incredible. incredible. Tells you how thick the ice is, huh? That is insane. I mean, even the, you could see where the people were and like how far up they were from us. water is so crystal clear here. It's absolutely amazing and obviously ice cold. Ah, it's amazing. Woo! Pretty cool too. Like really, it's cold, very cold. I am definitely gonna be ready for a nap after this. Okay. Uh, Running around getting all those last few shots. Just insane, but absolutely amazing. And absolutely worth it. Yeah, Gotta get up here and hike the glacier. Amazing. That was an absolutely amazing day of hiking. How are you feeling after getting back? How are your feet? My feet hurt. I have to say myths about that. I thought because we were walking into an actual area with there's ice everywhere, it will be cold. But in a sunny day, it's not cold at all. So pro tip, if it's sunny outside, just bring lightweight stuff and you'll be fine. It's like, if it's cold outside, then yeah, bring the heavy jacket and all the stuff that you want. I've seen other videos where they were wearing the jacket, so that's what I thought, and we were just carrying them around everywhere. Pro tip two, if you get into trouble, the only uh, carrier that works up there in the glacier is Verizon. So make sure somebody with you will have Verizon just in case. And, but overall experience, amazing experience, it's not for if you are totally out of shape or you have mobility issues probably not for you because it's like you really it's a good workout even for us it's an extremely good workout so oh i know i'm back ozzy missed you look at that so cute <laughs> but uh it was an amazing experience i have to say We decided to bicycle back over here to McCarthy because there's a bluegrass band playing tonight. Probably already hear them in the background. Sounds like it's gonna be a good time. event here in McCarthy.
McCarthy, and basically they will hike up over the mountain and jump on a raft and then come down the river and then they run over here. And this will be the finish line tomorrow at the potato. Pretty cool. Potato. Potato, potato. Everybody's having a good time. We are heading back from McCarthy to the RV park, to the campground and getting in the RVs for the night, calling it a night. And this is where we're gonna end this video. So if this is your first time here, it'd be awesome if you subscribe to the channel, stay up to date on all of our travels. It would be equally as cool if you liked the video and we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.